In this video, we're going to give several examples of generalization sets. So with that, we started. The first example is animal pet types. So as we can remember, this is the generalization relationship. A cat is a type of pet. A dog is a type of pet. So the generalization set is all of these down here are types of pet. And so like we've, we've titled this generalization set animal type. So we can find this in the containment tree right here and we can go into its specification window, specification of generalization set animal, animal type. And you can scroll down and see is disjoint and is covering. Um, we'll talk about those. Uh, they, they correlate to this incomplete and disjoint. And you can scroll down and see them within the properties element is disjoint and is covering. So what this means is you could add other blocks such as um, duck or uh, what other type of ferret for example, um, so ferret would be a type of pet. So the, because we don't have a complete list, these four are not a complete list, it is incomplete. incomplete. And therefore, um, the is covering is false. So um, and then for the is disjoint, if you had a pet and its name was Lucky, uh, Lucky the pet would either be a dog or it would be a cat or it would be a fish or it would be a ferret but it can't be both a dog and a cat at the same time so that's why it is disjoint. Alright the next one is a blood type example so we'll just jump into that um, so we have four different types of blood groups A, B, A, B, and O and we have positive and negative um, so these are both complete and disjoint. And then we have antigens, A antigens, B antigens, or no antigens. Or you could have A antigens and B antigens, such as for like the AB group. So that's why this one is overlapping, because if you had the blood type AB positive, then um, it would be have the A, B antigens and the A antigens like that. So then we'll jump to the taste. So it looks like uh, people on Google can't decide how many different types of tastes there are. So we'll jump over to this. So I said that uh, we have bitter, salty, sweet, sour, which are the ones that people agree upon. Um, but we would say that this is incomplete, as in we could add more. And then, but it is overlapping. You can have a food that would be bitter and salty, or you can have a food that is sour and sweet. So that's why it's overlapping there. So this is all of them together. Um, we have our definition of is disjoint and is covering. It is kind of confusing how they have disjoint and overlap all these different terms. But here is the map to explain. So is disjoint is true, is disjoint, is this true, is false, and it's overlapping. Is covering is true, then it's complete. Is covering is false, then it's incomplete. So hopefully this helped uh, explain generalization sets Thanks.